Hey guys and gals, have you ever had an audio unit in GarageBand 10 disappear on you? I did. It's very frustrating. Here's how you clear the cache for audio units in GarageBand 10. A disclaimer, everything I'll be doing should be safe, but proceed at your own risk. Your setup may be different from mine, and without an understanding of your setup, doing this could have unintended consequences. But if you're using a vanilla install of GarageBand without any changes, you should be safe, but proceed at your own risk. Here are the two files we will be deleting. I'm going to show you how to get to those and we'll go through and delete them together. Make sure GarageBand is closed. To get to the files, we need to find the library folder in your home directory. Normally, this folder is hidden. To find it, open Finder and in the menu bar, click the drop down menu under Go. Press the Alt Option key and library will become a new choice. Open the library folder, and from there we're going to go to Caches, Audio Unit Cache, and we're going to want to delete com.apple.audiounits.sandboxed.cache. Go ahead and delete that. The next place we're going to want to go back to the library, and then find Preferences, and then go to com.apple.audio.infohelper.plist. Go ahead and delete that. Empty your trash. Restart your computer. Go ahead, bring GarageBand back up, and your audio unit should be available. Thanks.